And if this is what being a part of the body of Christ is about, then count me in. My name is Michaela McManus, and I'm 17 years old. As far as serving in the body of Christ, I never really thought that I would have a place to go. I guess I never really saw myself as being a part of the body of Christ or the body of the chapel. Because I was young and I figured I'm not mature enough or I don't have the gifts. I knew that I was good at helping people and I knew that I really loved to interact with people but I did not really see that as being a part of the body of Christ. The youth program decided that they were gonna do a little bit of a change. We weren't gonna be in the quarter every Sunday doing, doing lessons, doing Sunday school. Instead, we were gonna be serving. Miss Kay Wallace told us that there was a need for um, a shadow, like, like that's what they refer to it as, a shadow for two autistic children on the Oaks location. And for some reason that really kind of struck my attention. I was like, well, I would like to do that. I would like to try that out. This is going to be a lot of work on your part. It's not going to be easy. It may be a little frustrating at some times, but I feel like you would be a person who could handle it. And I was like, well, okay, let's go. She told me that I was going to work with James. I did not know James. I had never met James. I'd never worked with any sort of special needs child. The first time I ever had him in the blue room with me, um, was kind of nerve-wracking. One Sunday I'm sitting there and, and then I look and somebody said, James is here. My stomach dropped a little bit and I was like, oh my gosh. And I was, I was nervous but I was excited. I guess it was kind of awkward. Um, new person, he wasn't used to me, I wasn't used to him. James and I quickly made the relationship where we became very close friends. We just kind of hit it off, I guess you would say. We kind of, we kind of depend on each other a little bit. God has definitely taught me some patience. When you're working with any sort of child or any sort of new person, it takes patience and it takes work. And you have to learn them and they have to learn you. And it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen, you know, from one Sunday uh, to the next. It, it's not about you, it's about the other person. And that's kind of something that I had to learn was, okay, it's not just about me being comfortable with him, he has to get comfortable with me. And he has to learn me as much as, as, much as I have to learn him. I would have church members and his family and my family saying, oh, what you're doing with James is so awesome. And, you know, putting that time and that work into working with James, you know, that's incredible. And I'm like, it doesn't even seem like work to me. It just seems like a lot of fun. I mean, and if this is what being a part of the body of Christ is about, then count me in because I feel like he has made more of an impact on my life than I ever could have made on his life. I love serving the body of Christ if this is what it's about. Through working with James, God has really showed me how to appreciate little things and how to never take anything for granted. I truly did fall in love with James and I fell in love with the family and just him as a person, I really did not expect to make the bond and the relationship with him that I did. We hit it off really well and kind of been best friends ever since and I've kind of claimed him as my own a little bit. So.